Welcome. Welcome back to the Flurry Sports Podcast. I am Zach Bruner. With me, as always, is Jake Osman. How's it going, Jake? It's going good, Zach. Feeling it in the air. Can you smell it? Can you smell it, Zach? Is is it the Rock's home cooking? What are you what are you referencing? <laughs> I'm smelling a Lions playoff run. It's I mean, in the air. It reeks Everyone of it. Everyone thinks they're good. Everyone thinks they're good. That's what I'm Oops. smelling. Come up. Oh, are, are, oh, are the Lions good at football? Sorry about it. Who, who, who could have predicted that? Except for 20, uh, 2021 Zach Bruder when the Lions were terrible. But I still said it. And I still believe it. I made myself mad today, Zach. Can I tell you how I made myself mad? Did you doubt Dan Campbell for a brief second until you woke up from consciousness? No. I was thinking about our predictions for the year. Okay. And do you remember what our most fun prediction was? We were both like, that is the matchup we want to see in the playoffs, but it's never going to happen. It's a pipe dream. It would be Lions and was it an NFC team or was it a Super Bowl yeah. matchup? No, it was an NFC team. Oh, Lions Rams. And we were like, <laughs> was the, we were yeah. like, it's yeah. just never going to happen. And if I told you one of these teams was going to shit the bed, I'm pissed <laughs> yeah. it's the Rams. We had it. The Lions held up their end of the bargain. I lost my mm-hmm. mind today because I was like, they did everything right. Like I was like, we deserve that matchup. There's a few things I want to say here because I'll start with this. The Lions are going down a dark path and they need to just make sure they are focused and their mind is right here because I'm hearing too much. We have our quarterback of the future. Oh, yeah. Dark times. Dark times for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock it off. (laughs) Stay focused. Forget everything you've seen of Jared Goff this year. Do not extend him. You have a probably a top three pick from the Rams. Trade it for a quarterback or draft a quarterback. Don't feel like you're comfortable at quarterback. Do not do that. Like we please don't send Dan Campbell down the wrong path here. He needs a quarterback. It's not Jared Goff. I promise you it's not Jared Goff. Like don't do that. Part two, Lions fans, you need to stay focused here and cut the shit. You're getting a little bit too big for your britches. I've seen multiple uh, Lions places on the internet share this today, comparing Jared Goff's first two years with the Lions, uh, his stats, to Matthew Stafford's first two years with the Lions. No. And tell me how that makes sense, because that's that means his first two years in the NFL. He was a rookie in second year, and they're like, look at his record, look at his stats, Jared Goff's are better. Knock it off. Cut it out. At best, Jared Goff is Ryan Tannehill. Don't yes, fool yourself. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is fine. It's a fine fix. We've said this from the get-go, though, and it is kind of awesome. Dan Campbell, like all good characters, has a very noticeable, very distinct weakness. That weakness? Too loyal. <laughs> Yeah, I do sure. kind of love that Like the bear trap laying at the feet of Dan Campbell is getting too committed to a guy Mm -hmm. it's like don't do it dan draft new people yeah (laughs) he's he's totally gonna forfeit draft picks because he's gonna be like we just don't have a spot for him like i feel like we got 50 of our 53 already tied up that and not this year this year's fine yet but i could see them keeping williams when health is not an issue in the running back rotation longer than he has to slash like not giving Swift the carries he needs. Well, even this past week, they've said DeAndre Swift is all the way back now. And not only did they split Swift and Williams equally, Jake, they also split it three ways equally with Justin Jackson. Justin Jackson doesn't need to be in this conversation. Justin Jackson is only here because for some reason, Anthony Lynn was on your team last year and he had that connection there. Justin Jackson's fine. He scored a touchdown this past week. He helped you defeat the Vikings. Congratulations. But let's do- <laughs> let's, let's cut it out. It doesn't need to be all fair. Play your best players. Dan Campbell for sure. 
believes in getting his guys a certain number of touches. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Campbell's a middle school coach. For sure. For sure. Like, and it's working. And, and I'm, I'm happy level. for him. Yeah. But he also did this, though, Jake. Like, Justin Jackson scored. I'm like, ugh. But then he got Panay Sewell on the move. He put Panay Sewell in motion. And then Panay Sewell went and made a terrific grab to ice the game. And then Dan Campbell, after the game, said, if he loses a little bit of weight, he's a Hall of Fame tight end. And Dan Campbell knows Hall of Fame tight ends. Dan Campbell is a Hall of Fame tight end, according to me. And Panay Sewell can do it all. Panay Sewell is, might be my favorite NFL player, for people who don't know. Ooh. But if Dan Campbell's just going to feed Sewell the ball at this point, like next week he might get a carry. The Lions will go on a Super Bowl run. I need this to happen. Let that big ooze carry the rock into the end zone. That's the only person I want to see vulture touchdowns from either Jamal Williams or DeAndre Swift. 